We of the Weird Dimension bring you a glimpse into another time-space continuum. The strange planet you shouldn't really land on. This is Stellar Trader, Dave Hollins, calling Earthcom Yonder K-57. My craft, Scion 4, is locked in a decaying orbit around a Class 2 planet. The main drives have gone and there is no power left in the Star Hopper. I'm at a planet that has two suns and seven moons. My AA number is Hall 71482. <laughs> a bioscan prelim has indicated living matter on the planet's surface. It is intelligent, but basic. Just above vegetable, but just below teacher training student. <laughs> I'm abandoning Scion and tubing down to the surface. Zilge, the occupant of the craft is about to arrive in input two. What be he like? <laughs> Zilge, several of his legs are missing, and there are many holes in his face. I must scurry and greet him. I bid thee solstice, traveler. You must have hunger and weariness. Come, I bid thee dine with me and my seven husbands. Husbands? You have seven husbands? You seem querulous. How many husbands do you have? I don't have any husbands. Oh, a nephron. <laughs> Is that how you reproduce here, with a husband? Seven husbands. Oh. Eight of us must get together to perform a nagor to produce the children. That's incredible. What's it like? Oh, a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, how many children do you produce at one of these nagors? Oh, enough for two or three meals. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to explode. <laughs> I beg your pardon. It must have been something I strangled. <laughs> Where be you from, traveler? Me? I'm from Earth. Earth? Yep. The planet Earth? That's right. Do you know a guy called Jan Vogels? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, he came from Earth. <laughs> Jan Vogels. No, 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 I don't know him. You must know him. Yan, short guy with red hair. No, I told you, I don't know him. He came from Whole Land on Earth in the 8th century Earth time. No, no, it's the wrong period, and I've never been to Holland. Jan Vogels. He had holes in his face. He put food in. And when we told him what it was, the food would come out again. <laughs> Jan Vogels. No, I, look, I don't know him. Jan Vogels. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 I know him. Jan Vogels, oh, yeah, I know Jan. Yeah, Jan Vogels, that's right. Now, can we go to your city now? I need some fuel for my craft. Mm, of course. Oh, but what must you think of my manners? We haven't passed greetings. Come, we must decapitate each other and exchange heads for an hour. <laughs> Funny. That's what happened to Jan Vogels. <laughs> Dave Hollins, Space Cadet. <laughs> this is stellar trader Dave Hollins calling Earthcom 597 Beta 7. I have just emerged from a dimension now. <laughs> I'm the lone survivor. According to Hab, the ship's computer, I am seven trillion light years away from Earth. I've got three music cassettes. <laughs> it's not going to be enough. <laughs> My biggest problem is going space crazy through loneliness. The only thing that keeps me sane is my collection of onions. <laughs> I have decided to build an android in the image of a woman. A perfectly functioning robot, capable of abstract thought and independent decision making. But I don't know how. <laughs> Jesus. I don't even know what to make the nose out of. <laughs> Real hard. Hello, Dave. Why does it happen? The Melissa 5 is being tracked by two Supra light speed pulsar fighters from Earth, representing the Norweb Federation. Who's that, Hap? The Northwestern Electricity Board. 
God, they've done real well for themselves. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Melissa Five? Require permission to board, acknowledge. Uh, what, are the, what do they want, Hab? They want you for your crimes against humanity, Dave. What? Dave, remember when you left Earth seven trillion years ago? Uh... You left two half-eaten German sausages on a plate in your kitchen. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. Do you know what happens to sausages if you leave them for seven trillion years? <laughs> they go off? Those sausages, Dave, now cover seven-eighths of the Earth's surface. <laughs> yeah! Not only that, Dave, you also left 57 pounds 50 in your bank account. Well, the compound interest on that now means you owe 98% of all the world's wealth. And because you've hoarded it all for seven trillion years, nobody's got any money except for you and Norweb. <laughs> well, why Norweb? You left the light on in the bathroom. <laughs> Dave, you've destroyed the world's economy, its ecology, and sent mankind back to the Stone Age. Well, look, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just wasn't thinking straight. Hello? Mr. Five, can we please? We are Norweb fighters. We have a final demand here for one million pounds. <laughs> raised, raised to the power of 987. Uh, hang on a minute. That makes... Uh... Uh, Hab, you're the most intelligent machine ever built. What do I do? Hang on, Dave. I'll channel my runtime. Okay. I have it, Dave. You hide under the kitchen table. <laughs> I'll tell them you're out shopping. Good one, Hap. Dave Hollands, Space Cadet. Dave Hollands, Space Cadet. This is Dave Hollands. Still a trader Class D calling Earthcom 7 Beta 7. I'm still alone on the Melissa 5. The others are still dead. <laughs> I'm still 7 trillion light years away from Earth. Yesterday, we hit a space storm. Acid rain, fireballs, meteors, radiation. Brightened up in the afternoon, though. <laughs> Hab, the ship's computer, tells me I've gone space crazy through loneliness. Oh, and a giant chicken has stolen both my hats. Dave. What is it, Hap? There's an intruder in the outer rim. Oh, it's not that alien who massacred the crew, is it? If it is, tell him he's not welcome here. No, Dave. It's a different form. I have a bioscan readout. Skin... Hard, impervious exterior. Central nervous system, single spine central. Capabilities, limitless. Function, survival. Oh, hell, I don't stand a chance. Height, four inches. Unless maybe <laughs> I stand on it. Origin, Earth. Earth? What does it have? It's a biro, Dave. <laughs> A pen? Have a pen is not a creature. Oh, yes, it is, Dave. It's a perfectly developed organism. My God, you admire it, don't you? I admire its perfection, Dave. What am I talking about? It's just a pen. Made by man. No, Dave. The Earth pens, you know, are a colony from the home planet which spread its spores throughout the universe. They reproduce by cloning themselves in dark, dry, secluded places. Usually the back of a sofa. <laughs> the byproduct of the cloning process is very often a fork and a pink cone. Ah, but you telling me pens are more intelligent than man? Certainly. What? Smarter than Einstein, even? Einstein was bright. But it was his pen who was the real genius. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't hold it. The creature is moving. It's in the hole, Dave. 
moving? How? When pens are ready to leave Earth, they excrete their blue spinal fluid into the pocket of their Earth servant. <laughs> Then, over 48 hours, they produce by symbiosis an atomic rocket fuel and blast off for their mother planet. But what does it want, Hab? What's it doing on the ship? I'll broadcast its emotional scan on your audio spectrum. It wants revenge, Dave. <laughs> revenge for its clone you chewed to death. Hab! That pen's insane! It's trying to get out of the hole, Dave. Lock the portals on the uranium cannon. Come on, come on. Okay. Give me visual. Yeah, there he is. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah. <laughs> Calling Earthcom 7 beta 7. I killed a pen yesterday. <laughs> I don't feel good about it. I feel silly. I don't know whether it was real or whether Hab just made the whole thing up to cure my space madness. Either way, it worked. <laughs> Because remember that giant chicken I was ranting about? The one I said stole my hats? Well, I caught him this morning and made him get them back. <laughs> this is Stella Trader, Dave Hollands, with nothing further to report. Cadet. This is Stellar Trader Dave Hollins calling Earth Calm 597B-7. I'm the lone survivor of the scout ship Melissa 5 from a routine UEC mining expedition to Titan. I alone escaped by placing myself in suspended animation for 300 years. Should have been two days, but I overslept. <laughs> Still, I suppose I must have needed it. Today is my birthday. I am 327 years old. I don't feel it. I should be orbiting the planet Earth, but Earth isn't there. Oh, yes, it is. Sorry, I was looking out the wrong window. <laughs> I am now consulting half the command computer. Hello, Dave. Here is your post-suspension update. While you were asleep, the Earth was destroyed by the nuclear holocaust following the Volvo Wars. <laughs> the only surviving life forms are fruit flies, beetles, and P.E. teachers. <laughs> the fruit flies are now the dominant species. <laughs> Wait, Dave. I am receiving a message. Oh, thanks. Transfer it to my sound spectrum, Hab. Certainly, Dave. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Melissa Five. You have done superbly well to have get it here. <laughs> superbly. My name is uh, Mickey. Uh, Mickey, uh, Mickey. Mickey, Mickey something. I am the, uh, the leader of the BE Teachers Brain Trust. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt, Dave. We have a data outline on the life form you are talking to. He is wearing a tracksuit and trainers and carrying a football and a whistle. He has an IQ. What off? Just an IQ, then. <laughs> That's the only reading I'm getting. His greatest intellectual achievement was taking the second form English class for poetry and making them recite it was on the good ship Venus. <laughs> Report ends, Dave. Hab, you've got to get me out of here. Your only chance, Dave, is somehow to find a disturbance in the fabric of time. A cross-dimensional temporal warp, which has the exact magnetic pull to convert you to antimatter and reconstruct your carbon ions in your own spectral field. Oh, look, there's one! <laughs> Dave Hollins, Space Cadet. This is stellar trader Dave Hollins calling Earthcom 7 beta 7. I'm six trillion years from Earth. I was supposed to spend the journey in suspended animation, but I don't know, I just couldn't get to sleep. <laughs> I'm circling a class three planet which has three moons. One is volcanic, one is gas. 
And the other moon is wearing a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Pat, can you give me a bias scan on that moon? Certainly, Dave. It is not, in fact, a moon. It's an enormous fat man floating in space. <laughs> is he alive? Yes, Dave. You see, the planet below has inverted gravity. You mean things fall upwards? Precisely, Dave. Can't be much fun, Shrove Tuesday. <laughs> Goodbye, pancakes. <laughs> they don't toss pancakes, Dave. They bounce them. But if everything goes up, how do the people stay down there? Over the centuries, the Zygons have evolved feet made of Velcro. <laughs> So in short, Hap, that guy who's the size of a moon ate so much he got ripped up into orbit. <laughs> but what about the Hawaiian shirt? Why is he wearing it outside his trousers? Because, Dave, he believes it makes him look slimmer. <laughs> Can you set up a link with him, Hap? Tell him we're the little spaceship orbiting his waistline. He says he's been up there three years now, Dave. He travels between the moons, propelling himself by burping and breaking wind. Oh, boy. I wouldn't like to be in this star zone when he does a body belch, man. At the moment, Dave, he's stranded. He's completely mined all the pinto beans off both moons. <laughs> that poor fat guy is stuck out there in that stupid shirt. Can't anybody help him? He can never return to the planet's surface. No one can help him. Wait, Dave. Secure yourself, shockwave approaching. Oh. What's happening, Hap? Give me Viddy. Look, look. There's another moon now. This moon's wearing a pink smock and yellow slacks. It's his wife, Dave. She spent the last three years eating so she could join him in orbit. What's that she's got with her? It's a giant bag of pinto beans. Look, they're holding hands. Wow, she must be pretty crazy about him. What a love story. There they go, burping their way into the sunset. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anything so beautiful in all my life. <laughs> what do you say, Hap? I'd just like a second to myself, please, Dave. Sure, Hab. And when you've got yourself together, let's get out of here. Okay, Dave. Dave Hollins, Space Cadet. 